Hi, this is Lainey Cameron, and today I'm here with Mary Helen Sheriff. Her debut, Boop and Eve's Road Trip, just came out this week. Hi. Hi. And well done on the award. You won, let me get this right, the American Fiction Awards Award for um, Coming of Age category already. Yes, I'm so excited. That is phenomenal. And um, I love this book. It's a road trip book. It's a lot of fun. Um, where are you joining me from today? I am in Richmond, Virginia. Richmond, Virginia. And let's talk about the book. So tell me a little bit about it and what the inspiration was. Sure. It's um, the story of a college freshman whose name is Eve. And she's um, struggling with depression and some mental health issues. And um, her best friend, who also is her second cousin, uh, goes missing. Um, or And... She decides she's gonna go look for her cousin and she, her grandmother invites herself on the road trip, uh, mostly because grandma's worried about her and wants to figure out what's going on, but also because grandma needs to stop by and see her sister. Um, and so the two of them, most of the book is the two of them on their road trip and grandma trying to help Eve through her difficulties and, um, but also having fun and bonding and, um, seeing some fun things and having some adventures. And it's, uh, it's a really beautiful read. What I said in my own review is I love that it's like a, a classic road trip book. You've taken the grandma and the granddaughter, but also it's got this deeper undercurrent and it's got some really interesting messages around dealing with depression and becoming the person you want to be, which is what Eve is struggling with during this book is like right. parental expectations. Yeah, where did the idea come from? Well, how did uh, you get yeah. So I... Um, after I had babies, I start. I struggled with some postpartum depression. And during that time, I found it really difficult to write about anything, even though I had always been writing. And um, once I started to sort of ease my way out of that, I started writing again. And um, I think that's where the depression component of Eve's journey comes in, was sort of, I was sort of working through my issues while I was writing a book. Um, <laughs> And then at the same time, my grandmother had died a few years, well, a few months before my son was born. And we had always, as a, chi as a child, planned that when I turned 16, we were going to go on a, a road trip, we were going to rent this RV, and we were going to travel all over the country. And when I turned 16, that didn't happen for <laughs> any number of reasons, one of them being that neither of us should ever drive an RV. <laughs> but um, um, so... And I and my grandmother was beloved, and you know it was kind of like one of those things where it was like, gosh, I wish we'd gone on that road trip, and wouldn't it be cool if Eve could go on a road trip with her grandmother, and her grandmother could help her work through all of these issues? Um, so that's that was kind of where the idea came from. Oh, I love that, and it's getting some lovely reviews. I picked out just one here from Carrie Lunsdale, one of my favorite all-time authors, and she's also got a, a road trip book that came out recently, Side Trip, which is pretty phenomenal, and so I'm sure she was especially drawn to another road, road trip book, and I thought she put it in a lovely way uh, where she says, it'll touch your heart, a beautiful and emotional story of sisterhood, family, and friendship, and from the first page, your lush and lyrical writing draws in the reader. And I, I thought that was beautiful. I actually read some of the reviews on Goodreads and some of the words that struck me, heartwarming, realistic characters, intergenerational family love, delightful read, poignant, were some of the words that jumped out multiple times again and again. Are you, are you feeling happy with those early reviews? It is. I mean, this is, you know, my baby. I've never had a book go out in the world. So it is, it's very wonderful when people respond to it and like it. And, um, you know, it finds readers who are excited about it. So I'm looking forward to more of that once it actually releases. Yeah, yeah, it's exciting. This is a big week for you. Um, so what might readers not know just from reading the book? Is there anything that changed or that had to get cut? Or what might be the, in, in, what might a reader be interested to know? Well, I really struggled with where to start the book. Um, at one point, I had it starting at her just at rock bottom and got some feedback that we didn't really know her at, in any way, shape, or form as like a normal human being, and that's a hard way to introduce a character. Um, so then I ended up going way back and started the book like at the beginning of her freshman year, and we went through like nine months of her 
spiraling down and down and down. Um, there was a lot of character establishment and all of that, but it meant that we didn't even find out about a road trip till we were like 100 pages in. Um, so I got some feedback that that was perhaps you know, the opposite way to go. <laughs> so the compromise was we start, you know, I guess four months or so before and and the whole, her downward spiral is condensed um, so we can get to the road trip and um, we don't have to spend too much time in a dark, dark place. That makes perfect sense. And personally, I really loved Boop, the grandma character. She's also got some history that comes up over the, the course of the novel that she hasn't shared with everybody. But at secrets, secrets are always awesome in fiction. <laughs> um, but uh, I just thought you such, did a great job. Was, was there any, anywhere that was coming from? Was that inspired by your own grandma? It was. It was. I mean, Boop is her own person, but that was the starting place for Boop. Awesome. So what about reading? Have you had a chance to read recently as your own book is coming out here? Yeah, I have. I, my reading has definitely slowed. <laughs> um, but uh I guess like in the last few months, my, the best book that I've, I've come across was a complete surprise to me. It was an author I had not heard of. Um, and I don't even remember how I found the book, but um, it's called Mornings with Rosemary. Yeah. Um, and it's by Libby Page. Um, I actually read the British version, which has a different title called The Lido, but it's the same book. Um, but it, it's this sweet little story about a young woman who is living um, in England somewhere mm -hmm. and she is um, struggling with being an adult and having left her hometown and trying to find her place in the world. And she interviews this older woman named Rosemary and the two of them become friends. Mm -hmm. And this pool is where they meet and the pool is um, in danger of being closed. And so the whole book is around how these two women are going to come together to try to keep this community pool open, which, oh, awesome. but I mean, the plot itself, you kind of think, okay, that sounds cute. But the writing was just so stunning and the characters were just so touching that I just sat there weeping. <laughs> you know, it's a good book when it can bring you to tears. Yes. Yeah. Yes. During yours at one point, but yeah, a good book can bring you to tears. That level of emotion. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it was just one of those, you know, surprise reads. Like, I don't know why I picked it up. I wasn't really expecting, you know, I mean, obviously I picked it up because I thought it'd be good, but I wasn't expecting what I found, which was just, you know, like probably top 10 books of all time kind of feeling. Wow. That's yeah. nice. That's yeah. Cool. And so. so what advice do you give other writers? I think the best help for anybody is to make writer friends. Mm -hmm. um, it is a long journey and that community can be helpful in all steps of that journey, whether it's learning how to write and giving feedback, um, or if it's, you know, things like you inviting me on this Instagram um, show. And then even just the moral support, like no one else is going to get what you're going through the way that another writer would, because everyone's journey has many of the same ups and downs. Um, so I guess that would be my point. And also to say, you know, when you are looking for that writer community, it's nice to have some in person. Um, online communities can broaden that horizon as well. But also finding people who write something similar, especially in the early stages, because there are often like little unspoken rules about certain genres that if you're getting advice from a science fiction writer when you write women's fiction, like you might not be getting advice that actually works in your genre. Um, and really so I kind of ran into some things with that. When I, I used to write children's stuff and when I switched into writing adults, I was breaking rules I didn't know existed. Anything we haven't covered that you want to make sure you mention today on launch week. I just want to thank the people who have been part of my community and part of this journey. Like, you know, I call this my book, but there were a lot of hands <laughs> in this book. You know, I had a lot of early readers who gave me feedback. I've had a lot of people help me with the marketing of it. Um, so I just want to just take an opportunity to thank those people for all that they have done and to thank you for having me on here. And I agree with everything you said on community. So let's talk about how readers can connect with you. They can reach you by uh, following you on Instagram at Mary Helen Sheriff on Instagram and also on your website. They can sign up for your newsletter. And I know you're excited to start connecting with readers as the books come into the world here this week, right? Yes, yes.
So shoot me an email. Let me know what you think. Well, if it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a general rule. If you hate the book, keep it to yourself. If you <laughs> Well, it has been so fun spending some time with you here today and the best of luck now that this wonderful book is out in the world. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.